Nanotechnology and nanomaterial handling in the workplace are identified as two of the main emerging risks nowadays. Handling of nanomaterials in the working environment requires specific technical measures. In addition, it must also permit even the most common operations to be carried out safely. Compliance with standard UNEEN 14175 is a necessary condition, but it may not be sufficient for the containment of chemical agents. Other collective protective equipment with variable air volume are characterized by maintaining a constant air velocity in the sash plane. So far, these are the ones that have shown a lower release of nanomaterials outside. Owing to the small quantities handled and their volatility, because of their low weight, however, part of the sample is frequently lost during weighing and transfer tasks. The ease with which nanomaterials disperse in the air during handling makes it necessary to reduce air velocities. The challenge is to find technical solutions that combine the ability to work with low flows and maximum safety for the exposed personnel. Given the widespread application of nanomaterials and the absence of a common regulatory framework, those reference standards that serve as a basis for measuring the effectiveness of collective productive equipment are shown in this video. This video is aimed at researchers, health and safety officers and users exposed to nanomaterials. Working safely with nanomaterials is ensured by the use of appropriate protective equipment and procedures that guarantee the containment of nanomaterials. The state of the art of collective protective equipment is given by the Health and Safety at Work with Nanomaterials Guide, published by the National Institute of Health and Safety at Work. Intentionally, the recommended preventative measures are defined by the European Commission, NIOSH, the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health and the WHO, the World Health Organization. The effectiveness of this equipment must be supported by carrying out homologated tests that permit the comparison of the validity of different solutions. Though there is currently no specific regulation for these applications, the adoption of current regulations for similar applications gives us an objective test methodology basis. The adopted basis for the tests shown are from UNEEN 14175 Part 3 Standard, Type Test Methods. The design is evaluated through tests carried out in a room conditioned specifically for the purpose, with controlled conditions of temperature, air humidity and air velocity that allow the results to be repeatable and comparable. There are two representative tests with respect to containment capacity. Outer plane tests. Robustness test. As previously mentioned, while working with nanomaterials, protection is provided by equipment designed for this purpose that allows both user protection and a suitable working environment for the sample. That's to say, one that does not alter the physical properties of the sample and which considers the external area in which the user is located, protecting respiratory areas whilst minimizing the influence of the laboratory atmosphere. The thermo-hygrometric conditions of this chamber can be adapted according to the needs of the product. Berdinola, we offer the solution. We go from theory to practice. <laughs>